Welcome to Ottawa, Canada's capital. Home to nearly a million people, it is the second largest city in the province of Ontario. Located along the picturesque Ottawa River is Orleans, an eastern suburb of Ottawa. Orleans has an estimated population of over 100,000 people. It is here that you will find Carleton Baptist Church, dedicated to meeting the spiritual needs of this community and proclaiming the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Carleton Baptist is part of a growing number of non-affiliated, Bible-believing Baptist churches extending across Canada from coast to coast. Our purpose is to exalt the Savior, edify, encourage and equip the saints, and to evangelize sinners. In short, we aspire to know Him and make Him known. God is doing a special work in this church. We are embarking on the task of constructing our very own church building. We've called it our Pathway Project. Carleton Baptist is pastored by Dr. George Covey, who has led the congregation almost from its inception. Isaiah 43 and verse 16 says, Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea, and a path in the mighty waters. Remarkably, God is making that pathway for us as a church in the mighty waters. In the next few moments, we'd like to share with you the extraordinary things that God is doing in our Pathway Project. Stephen Michelle, our assistant pastor, leads services and directs our youth ministry, but also works a full-time secular job as a welder. The future of our ministry is our young people. We are busy training them. It is exciting to see many wonderful changes in our youth and we look forward to reaching more kids for Christ in our new building. The freedom to hold teen revivals, sports activities, youth retreats, and evangelistic services are just a few examples of how our teen ministry alone will benefit. Carleton Baptist Church was first located in the library of Falling Brook Elementary School until the congregation grew. A search for a new meeting place was rewarded when the facilities of a nearby school became available. Arc NCL Elementary offered more room for Sunday school classrooms and growth and has been home to Carleton Baptist for over six years. Reaching a point where we need a facility of our own, we've launched our Pathway Project Building Program. Our own building will enable us to better carry out the programs necessary to reach Orleans. We first began on our knees, asking the Lord to lead us to a three to five acre property. In response, God gave us nine acres at an incredible price of $225,000. Considering that a nearby seven acre property is now listed at $1.2 million, God answered prayer in a mighty way. With the help of a planning firm, we've met all the requirements for site plan approval throughout the past year and a half. This involved completion of architectural blueprints, including storm drainage and landscaping drawings. Plans for the new facility are in three phases, allowing for future expansion. Phase one involves construction of a nearly 300-seat auditorium, Sunday school classrooms, and office spaces. Phase two will see construction of a gym fellowship hall and additional classrooms. This will be an important phase as we envision running a private Christian school for which there is already a demand. Phase three entails expanding the auditorium so seating capacity can be doubled. It will also enlarge office and classroom space. Knowing the task ahead is far beyond our ability as a church, by faith we are looking to God to complete it for us. The property has been purchased. Church members have faithfully given. Numerous city requirements for surveys and plans have been met. To date, almost $400,000 has been invested. 
God has done many extraordinary things. $40,000 was donated toward acquiring property. A major land rezoning issue was resolved. $18,000 in purchasing fees were waived. An incredible $50,000 was given to our building fund as well as many smaller gifts. Our members have volunteered their time to cut brush, mow grass, and put up a fence, saving more than $20,000. Some challenges seemed especially daunting. A $174,000 letter of credit was needed to ensure our building would be completed to the city's satisfaction. After praying for nearly one year, a church member was able to offer their home as security, and this obstacle that once seemed unmovable was lifted. Praise God, we now had our letter of credit. Because of loose clay and soil, we were also required to raise the projected height of the building up to six feet in some areas. The cost of gravel alone was over $550,000. We asked God for, of all things, dirt and lots of it. He answered with one of the greatest miracles to date. After posting clean fill signs, dozens of local companies trucked in their dirt, completely free of charge. It was one of these truckers who led us to someone who could spread the many piles of fill using a bulldozer. We now have over half the soil required. Though we still need foundation pilings that could cost well over $100,000, we know God will provide. And now the next step is here. The site plan agreement is signed. Our plans have been submitted. The foundation, grading, and construction of the building is ready to begin. We need your prayers. Pray for a project manager to oversee construction. Pray that the exterior shell can be enclosed before winter. Pray that local companies will donate materials and reduce their cost. Pray for the funds needed once construction begins. Pray about your part in this incredible journey of faith. God is using Carleton Baptist Church to be a lighthouse of the gospel in Orleans. Souls are being saved. God is truly making a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. And Jesus, looking upon them, saith, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. Would you be part of our Pathway Project? For more information about our church, visit us online at www.carltonbaptist.org. Project updates are posted at www.carltonbaptist.org forward slash pathway underscore project. If you can assist with materials, laborers, financial support, or prayer, your help is a tremendous encouragement.